So the Dillwing Click was like one of the most requested cards. The second most requested card was Snapcaster Maids. And Snapcaster Maids cannot be in Modern Masters 2015 because it's in Innistrad. So just get that out of the way. It cannot be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015. And because of that, it's gone from $20 to I believe it's $50 right now. Is it more than $50? I don't know. Somebody do a price ch check on this card. This card has gone up insane because what happens is speculators are now looking at cards that they can pump up in price. And Snapcaster Mates, because again, it cannot be reprinted, it's one of those cards. I, $50, wow, that's a lot of money for a, in, in all fairness, it is a recent set. By definition, because it cannot be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015, because it's too recent. Snapcaster Mage, there should be a ton of them. Innistrad was at the time the most popular set ever. It was. And then RTR was, and then I feel like Khan's Tarkir might have taken that over. But Snapcaster Mage, at the time, there was way more copies than something like Khan Liberated, especially since it's not Mythic. Now why, in the, why is this card 50 bucks? It is extremely, extremely good, but in compared to other expensive cards, it's there's more of them. I mean, it's a non-mythic, and it was printed in a very popular set. The price, in my opinion, is kind of like when when the Fetch, when the Shocklands were reprinted. The Fetchlands, the Zendikar Fetchlands spiked in price because people want to justify a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for a JIT deck. And if the Shocklands are no longer that much money, then we have to apparently put money into like the Fetchlands. And then the Fetchlands, if the Fetchlands are reprinted, then we've got to put money into the Con Liberated and the Lilianas of the game and cards like that. I, Noble Hierarchs of the game. Or most embarrassingly, was what was it? Convoke? What was that card that got reprinted in M15 that was like 45 bucks or something? Call of the Conclave? Conclave call? Triple green X, you convoke it and then you get the creature. At that time when Pod was the number one deck, that was a $40 card! Then they reprinted it, so then they decided Perfect Pod should go up in price. So it's kind of like. I absolutely hate when that happens, but that is what's happening to Snapcaster Maids, because I can tell you, as a non-mythic from Innistrad, which was an extremely open set, an extremely popular set, how this card got above $50 is pretty much beyond me. Like, it's very good. I don't want to take anything away from how good the card is. Card is amazing. It sees play in every format from Tiny Leaders to EDH to Standard Legacy, Vintage, whatever. But how this card, printed from a popular set, a highly open set, a non-mythic, is $50. Crazy. Crazy. And yes, I own foil copies of him, so... For me to say that would be against like my best interest, but I want him reprinted. I don't know what he can be reprinted in. I don't feel like he can be in a core set because then you have to bring back flashback. And honestly, the card is very powerful and standard. As long as there's instance in sorceries, this card is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. He definitely needs a reprint. $50 is a little too much for this card in my opinion. And that's not my concern. My concern is he's $50 now. What price is he going to be at until he's reprinted? I don't know. It could be some time before he becomes reprinted. And he could go up to $70, $80, maybe even break $100 if people force the price on it. And I feel like that's what's happening is that they cannot speculate on Vidalian Click and cards like that. So they're speculating on cards they know or unlikely to be reprinted. So my solution for that would be like, put him in a dual deck or something, put him in the EDH deck. Um, yeah, that would be my solution. And yes, I own play sets of him. 
foil and non-foil, but I would love to see him reprinted because I feel like $50 for this type of card, way too much.